Well, many people are concerned about new variants. What are you and the team doing to ensure the vaccine is effective against them? And are you concerned about any of them? First of all, uh, we uh, continuously uh, assess those upcoming variants, and there will be more upcoming, uh, in order to understand whether any of those variants of concern mandate variant adapted vaccine for all these variants which are currently circulating it seems that uh, boosters alone uh, bringing the waning immune responses back to high levels uh, are suitable and do protect however we have to continue to screen because there might be variants upcoming for which this is not the case and for this we have a second pillar uh, namely uh, that uh, we uh, prepare ourselves to be quick and fast in the case that we need to adapt uh, to a variant with mrna technology this is easy to do because we only need to exchange part of uh, the platform uh, uh, with the new variant and can use the same approach, the same proce process and uh, technology to prepare in short time a, a, a variant adapted version of our vaccine. And we are doing those dry runs, not alone, together with regulators, so that they are also prepared for a potential need to switch. You talk about the use of boosters. Could you envision a, a once a year jab in the future? We have an understanding that boosting uh, brings these immune responses not only back, uh, but even higher. Um, how frequently vaccinations and boosters will be required this we will see uh, with more data emerging. Uh, I could imagine that the next uh, boosters after the third one, so to say, could be every 12 or every 18 months. This is something where data has to guide the path. How far away do you think we are from a COVID-free world? And should the world still live in fear? I don't think that uh, the world should uh, live in fear. COVID will become manageable. It already has started to become manageable. However, uh, we will need to go back to a new normality uh, because this virus will accompany us for still some years. Dame Sarah Gilbert, of course, who helped develop the AstraZeneca vaccine, has said that COVID will just cause a common cold in the future. She doesn't seem concerned. Yes, I agree that less uh, frequent infections and milder infections, uh, this is what we want to achieve with vaccinations and uh, reaching uh, what is called herd immunity. And uh, therefore, as I said, we don't need to fear, but we have to keep in mind that the virus will not just go away, but stay with us.